Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach. Just uh, here. Just had the worst breakfast tacos ever. <laughs> it's like a crime against Texas. What? We asked for sour cream on both, and then they put double sour cream on one and nothing on the other. So one was like a desert, and one was effectively the ocean. Um, but this is uh, a beautiful squirrel girl number twenty nine. Uh, the title for this video is Every Issue of Unbeatable Squirrel Girl is the Worst Comic Ever. <laughs> um, uh, the other uh, alternate title for this video and all the other videos I'll ever make, uh, my son came up with it. He said, SJWs ruin comics again. Um, this isn't really SJW, it's just horribly unfunny. Now the thing with Squirrel Girl is uh, a lot of times recently I've just quit I did one video where I just crumpled up the pages. I did another where I got like, I don't know, 12 pages in and threw it against the wall. This one, I stretched it out over two days, about one page at a time, and I made it through. So just to get you caught up uh, on the uh, story, there's a, a guy who covered himself in silver body paint, and, and he's scamming all these planets, saying he's a silver surfer, and that's the real big cosmic level threat that Doreen is going after. And then... Uh, is this going to be kind of like a, a gut check? I'm just going to read this stuff. <laughs> There's actually metrics on, you know, you can see like how, how long people watch your video and when they dip out. This is basically pushing that counter to the max because you got to dig deep. You got to have guts to make it through any issue of Squirrel Girl. And this one was just as bad as the worst, so... Start off with a little Twitter thing. Squirrel Girl. Retweet if you travel into space herself to rescue your missing friends. Ha ha ha. Okay, wow, lots of retweets. Okay, try this on for size. Retweet if you travel into space herself to rescue your missing friends if they were kidnapped by space squirrels. Okay, okay, how about this? Retweet if you'd ever travel into space herself with Drax and fight Elder Gods with Loki just to rescue your bit. <laughs> I'm only one fifth of the way, and I know half of you have already stopped watching the video. So then we get this, uh, whatever, Spider Man's talking to. One of the things they always do is they bring in these characters you like, and the characters are always trying to be liked by the trash characters. She's not like, oh, wow. Spider-Man, you're, you're a major hero. I'm really glad to talk to you. He's basically trying to get... <laughs> so he's like, hey, Squirrel Girl. And she's like, Spidey. Like, she's like a sullen ex-girlfriend. It's like... Uh, then he's like... Uh... <laughs> she actually dips out on him. And he's just... He's like, left there like, Squirrel Girl? Hello? Squirrel Girl? Um, so then we get right into it. Whatever. Skipping this page. So, uh... <sighs> Squirrel Girl's an idiot, and... Everyone hates her? I don't know. Not in the story. Everyone in the story loves her, but I can't understand anyone reading this. And number one, it takes forever to read this book. It, it, all of them. And it just... So, uh, it's... The hero... The, the, the style of humor is the, um, this is like a thing style of humor. So, they create a bunch of uh, holograms, so the Silver Surfer can't so it's it's one of the classic you know mistaken identity uh but doreen's kind of excused because she's effectively retarded but silver surfer isn't he should just be like oh no this is some kind of mistake he's literally trying to like murder her and then drax jumps in and he says gah friendship can be painful at times but i believe it's eventually worth it that that's a thing right and then they got the, uh, there's always cats, because it's girl, it's like the biggest cliche, everything is cats. Um, they start calling in the characters you know, because you know them. Um, meet your new protectors, Nancy. Up next, Cosmo the space dog. He's a telepathic Soviet space explorer. Adorable. Thanks, Nancy, I try. Beta Ray Bill, the Thor that kind of looks like a horse. Greetings, nice. Hockey, hockey hoof Hank. The Thor that's literally an actual horse. Horse Winnie. This one is new to me. And then uh, down here, they got this really, really tiny letters. And uh, this is where they seal the deal on the humor. And I think it's supposed to be Ryan North himself talking. 
This is the first on-page appearance of Hockey Hoof Hank, but I hereby enshrine in, in canon that he was always around in other comics, just off-panel. That sound you hear is all your old comics suddenly getting way more valuable now that the, the delightful Hockey Hoof Hank technically guest stars in all of them. Mind you, <laughs> this is not weird. some weird contest to squeeze as many characters as you could, or as many words as you could on the page. That all, all of it, was supposed to be humorous entertainment. So then we get the, oh, I know that, that that's the thing guy. And uh, let's just drink in Erica Henderson making fun of you, making fun of me, making fun of Marvel. This is the woman who's in the middle of the office meeting. She just leans to the side and farts because she doesn't care. She doesn't care about her job. She doesn't care what anyone thinks of her. She's either unfireable or trying to get fired, somehow failing upward. Um, uh, this is the person who won Comic Artist of the Year from the Eisners last year, the top award <laughs> named after one of the creators of the medium. And this is how she draws. This is how she draws the Silver Surfer. It's ridiculous. So then what happens? Since it was just like a one note joke, they're like, uh, he slapped us so hard he's knocking us back to the planets we come from. I hate Mondays. It was good to see you again, Squirrel Girl. Call me sometimes. And then, uh, I'm not going to read the bottom part. It's, it's much too painful. So then they land back, and then it's the uh, the doofy guys who are impersonating. Oh, man. Then she gets sad because she realized she's an idiot, that she fell for someone no one would actually think is a silver surfer. And she talks like a retard. Silver surfer, I owe you an apology. I'm Squirrel Girl, and I'm trying to protect Chitty and everyone else on this squirrel planet, which is actually really on brand for me. And I thought you were a grifter, and I tacked without listening, and I'm sorry. Uh, then <laughs> they shake hands because there's their frenzies. Um, then this is actually the only part I was the tiniest little bit entertained by. So she basically explains that there's like these guys impersonating him. And the ship is getting away, and he just snaps his fingers, and their ship explodes. Which is a pretty cool little bit. And then we got this horrible... Isn't it so funny? They talk like Bill and Ted. Dude, for real, dude, it'd be excellent to let us go. We didn't know that doing crimes was most heinous, but now we do so lesson learned. And then he says uh, his power is to know that they're lying, and then they see him as a baby where his mom says, Stealing is wrong, my most muscly child. I really got, I really got a brain. Brian Lee Smith, Lee Clugston, Major Lee, whatever, Brian Smith Lee, whoever created, whoever created Scott Pilgrim, that guy. I like Scott Pilgrim, I just watched the movie again. It actually held up really well, I haven't seen it in, whatever, eight years. This is, I always used to bring like SJWs, this is nothing SJW, this is people who like the comics because they read Scott Pilgrim in like middle school, like 10 years ago. And now uh, they get an opportunity to work in the comics. They're like, oh, do you have any experience with comics? They're like, oh my God, I love the comics. So there's the science and then there's the comics. And the comics is mainly assorted manga um, and uh, Scott Pilgrim, basically. So uh, then uh, there's this whole armada coming to get the surfer with bombs <clears throat> that can kill the Silver Surfer. You might say that um, plot device makes no sense, especially since we're about to find that these bombs were created by an impoverished uh, federation of planets who were all tricked by the uh, this guy. So uh, they said that he was able to clean them out. They were all basically left destitute. They uh, climbed their way back out of poverty and uh, then they were able to create weapons, and th they make a really big point that uh, he was hit with uh, uh, one uh, fusillade, and the next one will, like, kill him. So uh, then the armada shows up. By the way, the Ar armada literally looks like 
junk. It, like, these are not spaceships. This is the laziest designs I've ever seen for a spaceship. Um, by the way, check out that drawing of Silver Surfer right there. If you're right-handed, drive. Draw with your left hand. Don't look down. Don't crash. And tell me you don't draw better than this. So he's like, uh, oh, you should talk to them. Hi, everyone. I'm Squirrel Girl, and I don't know your grievance against the surfer, but I think if we talk about it, we're sure to find a compromise that makes everyone happy. This is literally like, this is literally the dialogue from those comics that Nurkish reads that have actual retarded people as the main characters. And then she basically says all the stuff I said, and then he's like, no, you are ripped off. And then she goes, oh, no way. Um, <laughs> so then you're like, oh, this story's, uh, uh, oh, there's basically this thing that even though she's the leader of the Armada, she can't stop the doomsday weapon. So it's going to go off in 30 seconds. And, uh, yes, this is still not done. This storyline is still going on. It will never stop. By the way, I've complimented Erica Henderson's color work. I take that back. This is god awful. Honestly, I'll throw that out there right there as this next issue. That could be the worst cover of any Marvel comic I've ever seen. So anyway, uh, yeah, there's a. Oh, okay. I I I made it through the story. I made no promises to make it through the letters column. I just can't. Um, but anyway, uh, tell me what you think about this book. Tell me. Okay, so it's kind of a, since this was a gut check, I'm guessing I lost most of the viewers here at coming up on 12 minutes. Tell me, if you made it through, how did you make it through? Obviously, I have the incentive to make a video. If you made it here, and you made it through all of that, can I suggest you, like, go, you know, I don't know, enlist the Navy with the Navy SEAL contract? Because you have guts if you made it through this so far. So, anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit the bell for notifications. Thanks to everyone giving to the Super Chat and the Patreon. If you're funding original content, that link is in the description. Do not buy this book. <laughs> you will hate yourself. If you buy any comic that me or any of the other YouTube channels recommend, take a picture of it. Hashtag move the needle. Post it up on Twitter. At the people in it. So they will make... God, what is this? Like cheap printing? Like... The ink just comes off in your fingers. Um, uh, so, <laughs> so use the hashtag to the company and the people in charge and the creative people on it so they know that actual people... Nobody buys this trash. Actual people buy actual books and to make the books that we like, not stupid stuff like this. It's time for the rip. <laughs> Okay, Rip. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.